Oh god. <laughs> wow. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing really well. So I am back with another collaboration with the one and only Ewan. Um, you'll see from the last video that I put up, we filmed, and it was really fun, right? It was really yeah, cool. I yeah. really enjoyed it. Me too, me too. And it's nice to have you back on the channel again. Which Thank is, you. Isn't? That's alright. Um, so nice we, to be here. It is, it is. It's nice to have you here in a different part of London. Basically, we just filmed a video over on Ewan's channel, which I'm going to link down below, and it was a cool video. It was a What's in My Bag, right? Mm -hmm. The first What's in My Classic. Bag I've ever filmed. Yeah, it Old was. School. School. Old school, yeah. Just being nosy and seeing what each other had, it was cool. So if you want to see that, I'm going to link it down below as well as Yoon's channel because he's bloody amazing. I really do love what you do. Aww, so. <laughs> thank you, mate. That's all right, no problem. So today's video, what we're going to be doing is our top three fragrances, right? Yes. Yeah, so I'm quite into my fragrance, are you? I am. Mm, yeah, it's good. I'm, yeah, I'm really into it. Yeah, me too, me too. I think it's quite an important thing. If you smell nice, I feel like you feel good. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to do our top three picks. You've got some choices that I've never worn before. Have you ever worn any of mine? No. No. Um, like, one kind of. Okay. We'll discuss it. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, if you maybe see something you like or you've never tried before, then let us know down in the comments if you like any, um, or any recommendations that you have, because I'm always on the hunt for some yeah, new aftershaves. I have many, but I need more. <laughs> right, so should, should we crack on? Let's crack on. Let's do it. Do you want to start? Okay. okay, which one should I start with? Um, this one? Start with the best. The yeah. one I'm really jealous about. <laughs> so, this one is Tom Ford for men. Yeah. I picked this up at the airport. This is one of their slightly more reasonable ones, because I think Tom Ford can go pretty high in the price bracket. Can't very, they? very premium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is probably the lower end of their um, price bracket. But I just really like it. I would yeah. wear this. Do you want to have a little squirt? Oh, yes, please. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty amazing. It's quite powerful, isn't it? Really, now that like, I've sprayed you get it long it. longevity of that? Yeah, like, so it does. That's like so, like, it's like orangey. Yeah. I'm getting zest. Should we find out what was the um, smell? We've got all the... Yeah. yeah, we have the information. I've actually, um, we've Googled it, so we've been very scientific, aren't we? We're going to tell you all of the notes. True. So, it was released in 2007. Mm -hmm. um, a blend of top lots of ginger, orange, lemon, very citrusy. Yeah. yeah. And then um, lemon leaf oil, basil, bergamot, violet leaf. So quite musky on the base. Yeah. But quite oh, light. as well. Mm. Yeah. But quite light and floral. Yeah. It's like the combination. Oh my God. It's got, it's fresh enough, I would say, that you can wear it. I would put this on in the morning. Mm. Yeah. But it, I would say this would transition really well into an evening. Absolutely. Would you agree? Yeah, completely agree. I think, the, I, I think like the longer you wear that, yeah. the more like develop. I think that's absolutely You can amazing. definitely smell the citrus in it. Definitely, mm. That's what hits you first of all, I'd say. It reminds me of like a bath bomb I've had from Lush. Is it a grapefruity one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't for life yeah. think of what it is, but yeah. amazing. Oh god, I think I might have to invest. I think about 80 pounds, that's I think. Bad. For, and that's, that's for 100 mil, I think. Yeah. We're going to link everything down below, so um, if you see something you like, by all means, click the link and find out more. But, yeah. I love Tom Ford fragrances though. Like, He's the man's a genius. Yeah. The man is a genius. Yeah. Both in fashion and in fragrances. And have cool. a look at the stories as well, because a lot of them have got like really interesting stories behind mm. them, like mm. places that he's travelled to and what's inspired them. I think it's really cool to. Oh god, that is so nice. You know. So, um, what have you got? Mine, I'm going to is my favourite. This is Dior Sauvage. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to. You should be able to focus on it. This is empty. <laughs> I love it that much. Oh, it's empty. Yeah. But that's a good sign. You can kind of you just, like smell that. Oh, it's not a nice. true representation of what it is like unless you wear it. Yeah. It's one of those fragrances that if someone sprays and wears it, you instantly recognise and like, that's Sauvage. It is just amazing. Any Dior fragrance, like, it, there might I'm something might to come out. a tiny mm. bit. It's just, it's just yeah. a classic, classic fragrance. Really, really nice. Kind of sweet. It is kind of sweet mm. and it smells really clean. It's mm. got that slightly soapy smell to it. Absolutely. Like. Out of, again, find out the information. Um, so Johnny Depp's the guy who like kind of launched it with Dior, which oh. immediately had a bit of appeal. But basically it is radically fresh, raw, noble. Um, we've got ingredients, top notes of bergamot, so quite similar. Um, and then it's got a woody trail afterwards. Um, Ambrox, and I don't know what that is, obtained from precious amber, ambergris. That's all they're giving us. It's quite like secret. I think Dior keep their... Um, Fragrances on the down low because they don't want people to like copy. <laughs> nice bottle. It is, well. and like how nice yeah. is this? Watch. Oh, there we go. That, that is satisfying. It is, it's magnetic. It's magnetic. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, you demonstrate oh. a lot better than I did. <laughs> it's just a good classic fragrance, and I'm super sad that it's quite pricey. 
Um, I got that for Christmas and I've worn it all, but yeah, that, I think that's 100 That's mil. really cool as well, it's got the, the Christian Dior mm. underneath. Yeah, Lit. lovely, lovely yeah. fragrance, highly would recommend that one. Someone who's, it's a good all-rounder, it smells good in everyone. Do you like I it? Really, yes, yeah. <laughs> I really like it. Dude, it's good, it's a shame it's that it's sticking empty. my wrist. <laughs> yeah. And it's nice the way it sprays as well, it's kind of like, I know it's quite bad to describe, but there's something about it that like, really like goes, yes. like it's not like intense, like a mist. Yeah. So I kind of like spray it and then walk into it. It's yeah. it's a good, good solid choice that one. Kind of good. It's empty. <laughs> that's sort of one you just wear every day. I would say. True. Yeah. Very true. I did. That's why it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like a go-to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For sure. Okay. So my next one is this one from Pen Halligans, and this is Juniper Sling. So I'm a big fan of their fragrances. I've got loads in their collection. They actually have a shop on Regent Street. They do. That. They very do. Yeah, and it's lovely. Yeah, it's really well worth popping in just mm. to try them out if you've never been in there before. Great customer experience. Yeah, yeah right. really, really, really good. good. And they've got a big selection of fragrances. <sighs> it's, like, it's like you've just sprayed gin and tonic That's on my it. arm. That is what it smells like. Wow. If you can imagine a really nice, good quality gin. With a slice of orange in it. Yeah. That's those two fragrances put together. On a summer's evening. Oh, it's good. That's what it is. That's that in a bottle. Yeah. Very, and very nice. In a brand. nice bottle, I would say. Mm, nice bow tie on the, on the lid, yeah. Oh, I yeah. I'd never thought of it being a bow tie. Because mm. these are all unisex. Um, yeah. Mm. They used to have ribbons tied around them, but I like the fact that they've got metal with that. Yeah, it's, a nice it's kind touch. of a bit more masculine, isn't it? Yeah. And it's um, endorsed. It's got a royal mark of approval as well. It has. It has got the... Um, Court of Arms. It's got two, actually. Wow. Is it? Is that it's got the name? Prince. It's got the um, Royal Family, the Prince of Wales Prince as well. Prince of Wales, yeah. Mm. But yeah, juniper sling. So juniper berries. If you've ever oh. um, smelled a crushed a juniper berry, it's got that smell. That yeah, it's I'm kind of like peppercorns now. Yeah, it's kind of peppery underneath. Mm. The um, science behind it. Let's have a look and yeah. see. So we've got do the science bit. Angelica, cinnamon, pepper, cardamom, um, smooth mildew, cherry woods, leather, brandy, licorice. And then a vigorous base hit of brown sugar wrapped in amber lingers. Quite sweet. Mm, yeah. Smooth, warm and intimate. I mean, I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. It's amazing. But it's, the way that, so, that sounds quite dark and I think it's quite fresh still. Yeah, do you think true. it's quite fresh? Although, it's developing quite dark for me now. Initially quite fresh. Yeah. Now quite spicy and warm. Yeah. Lovely. It's a good one. I love that. You can tell you have a good fragrance, it's quite premium, but if it has like a duality of scents, yeah. something that you'd spray it and it, it smells the same throughout the day, something that develops is of what I've been told by the guys in Joe Malone actually, which we aren't featuring, but I, I, I do like Joe Malone, I, I think that's just a little bit yeah. cut above the rest. And they also sometimes pop up in TK Maxx, Ooh. Pen Halligans, did you know that? I didn't. Um, so oh, yeah, I keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> um, so my next one is a very small bottle. <laughs> what size is that? Um, is I, think that it's like, I think it's like a 30 yeah. mil, yeah, um, 40 mil. 40. So it's um, by Giorgio Armani and it's the Aqua de Joy, Giorgio Armani. Um, this is truly lovely. It's, um, this kind of is very fresh. It's, do you want to spray it? It's kind yeah. of like, for me, a quite an evening scent. They have two variations. This is the darker one. I was going to say, you know, at the start when I said half, I mm. worn the white one. You know, like the yes. clear bottle, yeah, 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 and yeah. I absolutely mm. loved it. Mm. It's classic. I mean, it is. that was years ago that I had mm. that fragrance. Yeah, this is quite an old one. Um, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Aqua de Joy. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it smells quite familiar. Mm. Probably because of that. Cause of the... Yeah. That's good. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, let's find the science behind this one, because I think this has got some good explanation. Where are we? It's about Aqua de Joy, Aqua, um, my Italian's terrible. It's very fresh, um, Bergamot again. We've, quite interesting that we both chose quite yeah. similar scents, which is, mm, I don't know. ingredients. They do all smell quite different though, mm, but yeah, yeah true. This one's not the same ingredient. Mm. Tones of geranium, sage, rosemary, laid on a base of patchouli and incense. Um, yeah, served in 40, 75 or 125 mil. It's very pricey, um, it's Giorgio Armani, so it's... It's quite high end, um, but it's just bloody lovely. I do absolutely love it. It's you can smell the geranium leaves. Mm. That kind. Of, it smells like that sort of fresh, like greenhouse smell. Mm. In yeah. There. Do you know what I mean? No, like, I do. A bit I like, like tomato plants. Oh yeah, yeah. I like fresh that basil. Sort of, yeah, that, I think maybe that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. So uh, my last one is from Zara, and it's uh, called Nine Point Zero. I think maybe all of their fragrances are numbered. Mm. I'm not sure. And this one has got all the ingredients on the front, so I'll just read those out to you. <laughs> so, 
surprise, surprise, bergamo, juniper, coriander, pepper, cardamom, oris. Mm. What's oris? Or oris? I think it's a form oris. of like floral thing. Vetiver. Vetiver. Nice. Amber and cedarwood. So again, Ooh. very similar ingredients. But these are about, I think these are about £12 yeah. or something oh, like that. Oh, that's Zara after shaving there as well. It's Zara brilliant. Really, really good. Not the, so great for longevity. No. Mm. No, that's absolutely true. But at that price, just whack a bit more on. <laughs> totally agree. You <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Totally agree. By the, oh. Yeah. Mm. Wow. It's nice, isn't that it? That is very nice. I just tasted it. Mm. I think oh, I it. good. <laughs> Tastes as good as it smells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is very nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's quite clean. It is quite clean, but then, ooh. Yeah. Quite sweet as well. I'm getting sweet. a little sweet. Still smell. peppery and clean. Mm. Mm. I would say for that price, it smells quality. Pretty good. That, very... that would kind of be a nice like workwear. You know, if yeah. you like, worked and you didn't want to wear like a premium fragrance, but yeah. you kind of want something maybe just shot in your bag. Yeah. That's a good, nice alternative to like, you know, a premium price. Yeah. It's lovely. Really, one really to, good. Yeah. Save your best ones mm. for your occasions. Yeah, absolutely. Whack this one on. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah, totally agree. Zara have a fantastic selection of fragrances in store as well, don't they? They've got so, loads. They've got yeah. like 10 or 20. 10 or, there, yeah, right? absolutely. And they change them quite frequently as well. So mm -hmm. if you go in, they've always got tester strips and stuff. So check out Zara and go and have a spray. See which one you like. And then they just buy all the clothes. That as well, that as well. Issue. Yeah, just chop the fragrance in at the end, just to yeah. see the damage. <laughs> um, okay, so my last um, one is a classic that any gents out there probably see and go, oh, okay, like rolling your eyes right now. This is Paco Rabanne Invictus. Um, every Tom, Dick and Harry I know has this. Really? Yeah, it's like it had its heyday and then yeah. they reinvented it, but then, so I bought this about four or five years ago. I when it came time. out, it had a yeah. really striking advert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was the guy, the muscles, yeah. very like Olympian. It's kind of like a trophy. And yeah. I'm not a massive fan of the bottle. I think it's a little bit like cliche. It's not very classy. Yeah. Um, but the smell is just something that I never tire of. It's just, um, it's amazing. You, you sprayed it earlier, didn't you? When yeah, you had the and I was thing. surprised actually. Yeah. I had Paco Rabanne Million. Do you remember One oh, Million? Yeah, or, yeah that and it, was just... I mean, I, I kind of loved it, but love hated it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's got that sickly vibe. Yeah, that everyone wore it. You yeah. Know, queuing in the nightclub. It was that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just liked the bottle. Yeah. It looked like a gold bar. It did, it did. <laughs> but obviously, I mean, they are a little bit trashy. But, they are, they are. But, I just think this smells so good. Mm. It really mm. does. Yeah. Quite clean. Quite yeah. like a floral scent. It sounds weird, but the more you kind of like heat up, so the more like you yeah. run around, running for a tree and tube, kind of get a bit active. It kind of like releases scents that yeah. like are nice. So if you walk past someone who wears this, or you are wearing it, walk past someone, they'll go, ooh, what was that? It's nice. It's good. And quite a good price for the size bottle as well. That's 125 mil. I think it's like 60 pounds. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's been out a while. It's just a classic. Um, I'll find out the notes for you. Did it's you know that that's why you spray um, fragrances on your pulse points? Because that's actually where the it heats up, right? So, yeah. yeah. You're supposed it's to go behind it. your ears, yeah. your wrists, but you're not supposed to smush them, are you? No. Because that distorts the fragrance. Yeah, it does something to the molecules. And there we are. We're getting that, very science here. That's as science as it's going to get. <laughs> mm. So it was released in 2013, so I wasn't too far off, but no, five yeah, years yeah. ago. So aromatic of beer leaf, um, jasmine, and a woody base of wood, um, patchouli, oak, moss, and ambergris. Um, ambergris, I guess. Ambergris. Yeah. Mm. Designed in the um, in the bottle of a trophy. Yeah. Um, hundred mil is fairly affordable, and it's just it is a good solid choice. You yeah. know, if you, if you want a good fragrance that you know is going to have a lot of longevity, and it's just another like good solid classic, I would recommend. They've relaunched it into like a new spicy version, and I'm not as keen. Oh really? That's like the classic. Mm. Yeah, really, really nice. Mm. I think the first fragrance I ever bought was Excess by Paco Rabanne. Have you ever smelled that? Black Excess? I, yeah. I, I, they do a black one now, but I just got, got the original. Just the original. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, that was mm. really nice. And yeah. I'll probably go back to that. So Black Excess was my first yeah. Paco Rabanne. Oh, really? And then I went with yeah. a million, and now I've gone this. Yeah. Good. They're a good, they are a good brand. They're a little bit trashy, but they're good. <laughs> like a bit trash. We do. We do. <laughs> So that's the end of that video, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's been really, it's been really fun. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. Nice. These are all ones I've yet to discover. So mm, really, really cool. Yeah. I think the Christian Dior is my favourite of yours. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I think I'm probably going to go Tom Ford just purely because it's something that I've always wanted to buy, just never actually committed to. And I think it's time. It's Treat time. yourself. My twenty first coming up. Yeah. It might be my twenty first fragrance because you have memories with fragrances, don't you? You do. That's the other thing. Mm. When yeah, they always bring back memories. True. 
Very true. Yeah. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, it's been a lot of fun to film. Do let us know if you have any like um, recommendations that you want to pop oh, down yeah. below because that would be nice yeah. just to spend more money on fragrances <laughs> that we probably don't need. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to give a thumbs up and do check out Ewan's channel because it's absolutely amazing. Like I said, all the links are going to be down below um, and there's probably going to be a link round about here or here um, to the video we filmed, which is a what's in my bag. But yeah, really hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'll catch you guys very, very soon in a future video. So bye for me. See ya. <laughs> See you later. Looks, sounds weird. It's up in 4%, 35 minutes. Good to go. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Oh god, that's a lot. Christ. Oh. Okay. Yeah, should I go that way a tiny bit? Is it? Um, yeah, maybe. There's a bit of a bit. Yeah, a bit of a gap. Just maybe a cushion over <laughs> Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. So a few? Yeah. Right. Just do it for you. Literally, don't keep it on the download. <laughs>